Alrighty guys, holy smokes, that workout just kicked my butt. Today, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how often you should work out to lose as much body fat as possible while building strength and muscle tone. Let's go. All right, so I just finished teaching the 5 a.m. arms workout, and now I'm gonna go get a coffee, do a little bit of computer work, and then get back here to get my workout at seven. Visitor here. Max, say hi. Say what's up, guys. Hello, Say it's Max from Durham Performance. What? What? Are you measuring me? Okay. Can you measure my head? Wow, good job. Hi, right, guys. So, check out this is the update. It is uh, 10 after 3 p.m. I just picked up this young man from school and now he's got tennis from 3.30 to 5 p.m. So, what will I do in the meantime? Bum, bum, bum. I don't really wanna go all the way home and then come all the way back, so I'm just gonna maybe just go for a walk and or do some computer work, yay. I was gonna go for a walk, but then it started raining, so I was like, screw it. So, I went and got a cinema bun, and I wanted to answer the question that I promised you I would answer. This is a very common question, which is, am I working out enough? I am trying to work really hard, I'm going to the gym, I don't know, two, three, five days a week, and I'm not seeing the progress that I, that I think I should. The number one question that we need to answer is, what is your goal? Are you trying to gain muscle? Like, is that your priority? And we kind of have to decide one or the other. I know that is very common for us to say, well, I want to lose weight and get stronger. But the reality of the situation is, if you want to build lean body mass, everything is going to have to look very different than if your priority is to lose weight. 
Make no mistake, regardless of what your number one goal is, nutrition is going to be extremely important. All right, so that's why I wanted to break this down. So let's start with what if your goal is to just maintain, all right? And I got fancy and I got this piece of PVC pipe to point and feel important. So check this out. If your main objective is to maintain the current level of fitness, then it's easy because all you need to do is you really can just choose how much you want to work out. And then all you need to do is match the calories that you're burning and eat just as much so that you can maintain your weight. So that's the easiest one. That's why I wanted to start there. Now, let's say that your priority is to build muscle. Your priority is to get stronger. Okay, then the number one thing that you want to remember is progressive overload. That is the most important factor that is going to lead to you getting stronger. Progressive overload just means that you're going to submit your muscles to progressively heavier loads. If you're doing an exercise, say squats, uh, with just your body weight, uh, sooner than later, you're gonna have to add some weight to it. And if you want to keep growing stronger, you're going to have to keep submitting it to progressively heavier loads. Does that make sense? All right, so it is proven by research that the optimal number of times to work out if your number one goal is to build lean muscle is you should work out each muscle group twice per week six workouts per week, uh, twice for each muscle group, and that is what the research shows will lead to the best result. Very focused workouts, they need to be effective. If you just show up to the gym and you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna do a little bit of this, I guess. That's, that's not what we're talking about here, right? We're talking about uh, workouts that are well-structured to create that progressive overload factor for you. If your priority is to gain muscle, your nutrition, you're going to always need to be eating at a calorie surplus. If that calorie surplus is too high, you're going to gain more body fat along the way. So a, a conservative calorie surplus of maybe four or 500 calories per day is what will lead to muscle gain while minimizing the, the amount of body fat that you gain in the process. Does that make sense? Now, something that you need to keep in mind here is that you're going to need to track and adjust, just as always, track your progress and adjust uh, the number of calories that you're eating perhaps to make sure that you are not gaining a lot of body fat. Something very particular for people that are trying to prioritize gaining muscle is that this is a very, very slow process. If you are a male and you are 20 years old, or if you're using steroids, that shit's gonna come a lot faster, all right? So these rules don't apply to you because you're kind of a, a, a freak of nature, whether it is because you're just so young or because you're injecting yourself with testosterone and shit. So, all right, now the reality is that the vast majority of us are in here. See, I get to point and feel important. All right, so if, Priority number one for you is to lose body fat, to lose weight, and yeah, you're going to increase definition as a result of that decreased body fat. Then the reality is that the number of workouts that you're doing per week, the importance of that, that kind of diminishes compared to if you want to gain muscle. So your objective when it comes to strength training becomes just trying to retain as much muscle as possible. So you're going to have to be on a calorie deficit. And when you're in a calorie deficit, you basically want to show your body that you need that muscle that you have on you, that you cannot spare it because you need it. That is how your body is going to be like, all right, that muscle we need, so we cannot break it down and use it for fuel. We need to use stored body fat. So your workouts still need to be well thought out and still need to be efficient and just challenging enough so that they can create that response in your body. But your, your calorie deficit is going to still be there. 
it is absolutely normal to lose a little bit of muscle when you're losing body weight. That is perfectly normal. You're going to lose some muscle. That's, that's, you, you almost cannot get away without that. What you can do to minimize the amount of muscle that you lose is make sure that you're working out at the right intensity and in an efficient way, not just going about it, doing whatever, right? Like there needs to be some thought behind it. And just like if you were trying to gain muscle, if you're trying to lose weight, you need to consistently just kind of observe what is happening and how you're progressing and then make any adjustments to the number of calories that you're eating or to the amount of workouts that you're doing as necessary. The reason why this is important is because it is a very common mistake for people to say, I'm not losing weight, I just gotta work out more. That is very, very normal. Or for you to say, I'm not losing weight, I better start working out. And the reality is, the priority when it comes to losing weight is just going to be your nutrition, period. Think about it this way, I don't know you, but I am almost 37 years old, I have kids, I don't have 10 hours of the day to be working out and go and then do cardio and work out in the morning and then work out in the evening again. I just don't have time for that. The reality is you don't need to. And if you feel you have to, it's probably because your strategy surrounding your nutrition is not very efficient. So you're not seeing that progress. Here's like, you can, you can use me for example. I am as fit as I've ever been and I'm actually a little bit leaner. I have a little more muscle today than I did five years ago. And I am only working out three days per week and I am not doing any cardio. And I am eating whatever I want. Mm. Remember, anybody can white knuckle their way through a diet. But if you're trying to make progress that is not just consistent, but sustainable, therefore permanent, you can't wing any of this. You just can't, you know? So if you are struggling, if, you, if you're not seeing uh, the, the, the progress happen the way that you would like it to happen, don't make the mistake of, of thinking, all I need to do is work out more. What you need to do is you need a solid strategy behind everything that you're doing. Here's the trap that people fall into very often. You're already working out in the morning, you're working out in the evening, you're doing some cardio because you're trying to bust through that plateau. Really, you're just trying to cover up the fact that your nutrition is not where it should be. You know, what if I told you that instead of working out six, seven, eight, ten hours per week, you could work out two or three and see even more progress? You know, again, it is not just about working hard, it's about working smart. So please don't make that mistake and always prioritize nutrition. That is going to just make your life so much easier so that you can enjoy a lifestyle that is perfectly sustainable for you where you don't feel restricted, deprived, and honestly just frustrated due to the lack of progress. Hey guys, so we're going in one of our pajama walks. Except I'm the only one in my pajamas. Except well, for I Katie's the only one rocking the the pajamas. My mom watches this, I'm sorry, I'm wearing your sweatshirt. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the field, maybe play for like five minutes with the ball that we brought, and then... And then come back home. Get set, go! Max is a cheater and will cut her brother off. <laughs> Set! Go, Maxie, go! No, Alexi, and go! Did Max get it? <laughs> oh, so close! Go, Max, go! And go, Alexi! Alrighty guys, so check it out, it is 8.35. Uh, the day is pretty much done. We came back home, we put the kids to bed, and now I am going to eat a cup of this ice cream. I literally saved um, 300 calories so that I can have a whole cup of it. 
Um, it's really, really tasty, really creamy, really satisfying. So I'm going to eat that. Uh, my total calories are right here. And that was an awesome day. Perfectly uh, hit all my goals. And that will contribute to just making more progress, right? So thank you so much for watching. I love your faces. And I'll see you soon.